Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. Stop. Give me the 16th verse. Come right back. 1 Corinthians 11 and 16. Right. But if any man seem to be contentious, we don't, we don't, we're not even contending this vibration because the Bible is speaking. Read on. We have no such customs, neither the churches of the Most High. That's what this is about. Conduct, conduct in the church. Paul is talking about how you supposed to carry and conduct yourself in the church and in the earth, but primarily in the church. So she read on. First Corinthians 11 and 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man yeah. off the earth is Christ. He's over everybody. Read it. And the head of the woman is the man. So we got our women. We're over them. Come on. And the head of Christ is the most high. That's a pecking order. Spiritual hierarchy. Read it. Every man. Give me Revelations 1 and 1. Quick. First Corinthians 11 and 4. I'm going to show you how they get right down real nice, right? Every Before man. That, read it. Revelation 1 and 1. Come on, I Revelation 1 and 1, check this out. The revelation of Yahweh Shai Christ. This is the explanation of that same verse you just read. The revelation or the revealing of Christ. Read it. Which the Most High gave unto him. Which his father gave to him. Read it. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. His servants are in the earth. To show us what things must shortly come to pass. How did he get it? Read on. And he said and signified it by his angel. Unto his servant John. So Christ gave it to his angel and said, go take this to John, man. Yes, then the Lord just showed me this. You take this to John. Yeah, Write this down. Yeah, John, if he had a woman, she was in the pack most with him. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. But if he had a woman, he must tell his woman now. Show me what you got. First Corinthians 11 and 4. Right. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonor of his head. He dishonored Christ. Mm -hmm. You can't pray and prophesy having your head covered. You dishonor Christ, right? That's a rough song. Read it, huh? But every woman that prayed for prophesying with her head uncovered dishonored her head. She dishonored her man, her husband. Because yep. he's head over her. We know now. But that is, but that, but that is even all one as if she were shaven. She was shaven. Mm -hmm. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. Let's shave all the hair off. She don't want to be covered. Let her be bald head. Sure. Check this out, though. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, there's a lot of women don't care no more. They yeah. come out bald anyway. Yeah. It's a bold, wicked yeah. statement. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. they don't know the Bible. They don't know what they're doing. It's fashion content. Yeah, they're bugging. Yeah. You understand? Basically. Yeah, the spirit's got them. Right? You understand? Yeah. The evil spirit's got yeah. them. Right? We know. Let her be covered. Let her be covered. She don't want to be short and shaped. Read it. First Corinthians 11 and 7. Right. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. Right. For as much as he is the image and glory of the Most High. So man indeed ought not to cover his head. Mm -hmm. Ought not mean explicitly. Boys, he's the image and glory of the Father. There's times when men get caught in this situation under this captive state where it's, it's required to keep this job. You got to wear yeah. hard hat, hat or, 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 or yeah. uniform. Yeah. You understand? You got to wear a uniform or you're going to get fired. If that's the job you got, so be it. If you, if you try to get out, you can, whatever can you be. Women come in, they can't. Hold a second, help. Oh, yeah. Well, hard hat. Oh, we don't wear man. We don't drive boats. Right? That's sport. That's yeah. leisure. That's not work. That's just, you know, you come here and volunteer. I don't think that goes with Christ. You talk, I want to ride my bike, Christ. I want to ride a bike. Yeah. Sacrifices in Christ. <laughs> Everything yeah. that's going on in the battle, I don't mean you, but, you know, mm -hmm. and he's supposed to make it adjust to Christ. These things are against Christ, a lot of yeah. things. That's all yeah. that they establish. This thing is against Christ. This whole setup is against Christ. So you got to watch all the things you get into. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Finish that up, though. A couple more verses. Okay. For a man indeed, he, for a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of the Most High. Right. But the woman is the glory of the man. So the woman is the glory of the man. So the woman glorifies her man, big time. You know. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Right. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. Read it. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head. The power is a cover. Because of the angel. Because of the angel. So the angels can play for her. Mm -hmm. Protect and keep the, wit, the up, fishes or the wicked angels away from her. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's the gist of that. Okay. Uh, you understand? And what we got back here, brother? Right. The bus coming soon, yeah. Right. Lost 12 tribes of Israel. They said we'd be standing in front of the sign. On your Friday, we got YouTube address on so you can check out a lot of TV. Okay. Look at it, it's hot. Also, up there, you're going to see a lot of other congregations throughout the country. Check them out. You must check them out. And measure against us or whatever, because everybody out on the same page. Big confusion right now. Mm -hmm. Trying to lock it down. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. The twelve lost tribes of Israel, according to the Bible, these are their biblical names. This is the tribe of Judah, are the so-called Negroes in America, for the okay. most part. Yep. The 
job of Benjamin, the so-called Negroes in the West Indies, for the most part, and the Levi are those Negroes in, in Haiti, the native in, uh, uh, Haitians. The Simeon are the Dominicans, right? Okay. In the Caribbean. Zebulon, Guatemala to Panama, Central America, right? Israelites, Ephraimites, they're in the Caribbean, Puerto Rico, the Nassau in the Caribbean, the Cubans, Gad, the North American Indians, that's what they call them, but they're really Gadites. Reuben, they call them Seminole Indians, down in the Everglades of Florida. Naphtali, are the Argentinian Chile, the Native inhabitants, South America. Asia, Colombia, the Uruguay, South, uh, South America. And Issachar, the Mexicans, the Central America. You understand? The fact of the matter is, these 12 lost tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the earth for their disobedience unto the Heavenly Father. And, and the slaves throughout the same Deuteronomy 28:60 that we just read for you, it applies. We all were brought to the Caribbean, brought through there, Damn, and brought over here to America as slaves. Some of us came there on our own. That's how Columbus came there and seen them there already yep. and oppressed them, raped them, murdered them, and all kind of madness. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yep. Robbed them and exploited them. But these are all brothers and sisters of ours. Mm -hmm. And now we represent them and we stand up here and, and pump this up for the Lord. In the name of Christ, you understand? So where does the Caucasians come in from? The Caucasians? Yeah, where do they come the Caucasians from? are twin brothers to the Israelites, okay. if you will. Isaac, son of Je Abraham, mm -hmm. had twin sons, Esau and Jacob. Esau and Jacob, yeah. right? Read it. Genesis 25, verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife, because she was barren. So Isaac prayed for his wife. She couldn't have no baby. Read on. And the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. She conceived. Now she got pregnant. Read it. And the children struggled together together within her. She had trouble. You know. Already, right? Right. And she said, if it, were be, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. So she said, man, she went to a prophet in ancient time. The woman... Like we just read in the hierarchy, she can't go to the Lord. She got to go to a man. Yeah. So she went to a prophet and inquired of the Lord. Read on. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Two separate people are in thy womb. Read on. And two manner of people they, shall be separated from thy bowels. They act different. They, 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 they're different. They're, different. Yeah. they're not going to be the same. Yeah. Even though they're twin brothers, yeah. they're not going to be the same. Read on. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Right. And the elder shall serve the younger. The elder shall serve the younger. It's not happening now. Okay. Read on. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. Right. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. Who's this today? 